Hey YouTube, this is Will from One Trek Mine Magazine. Today we're going to be looking at the Beast Riser 2.0 MTB handlebars. So these are some carbon fibre bars that are made handmade in Germany and we're going to do a little bit of an unboxing and see what they're like. So I've got my uh, first person camera on here. So first things we can see is there's a really nice packaging with um, a matte black box with kind of a, a glossy logo there. And if we open it up, it's kind of reminiscent of Apple products where it's quite a tight fit and it feels really premium. So inside the box, we've again got uh, like a nice matte black and that seems to be throughout. And then some foam protection and in here we've got some assembly paste and some instructions. And those instructions are gonna come in handy later because these bars are, it's really important that you follow the instructions carefully when installing them because there's been a lot of um, research, testing, time and care that's gone into making these bars what they are. Um, and if you install them incorrectly, then you're not getting the best out of the bars and you could even potentially damage them. So let's have a look. Let's do this. So here we go. Now, those look incredible. So yeah, stick it, read the manual before mounting. People don't like to do that, but in this case, this is really important. So these are the 25 mil bars. They have a rise of 25 mil, hence the 25, uh, a back sweep of eight degrees and an up sweep of five degrees. Uh, you can get them in the 31.8 diameter or the 35 mil. Width wise, these bars are 800 mil. So that's the width from end to end, 800 mil. And you can cut these down to whatever you prefer. Personally, I go a bit shorter around probably 7, 7, 7, 5, 7, 80, that kind of thing. 780 is what I go for. Um, some nice markings actually on the design themselves so you can center them correctly. And here we see the section here. Uh, there's a section here for where you can mount the clamps of your brakes and your gears and you need to clamp them in these areas specifically because this is where they've put a lot of time and effort into making the product safe for all the different clamp types. So whether you've read our previous article on the Beast Bars, um, you would know that Beast have done a lot of research into the new clamps from brands such as Shimano, uh, SRAM, other brands and their new clamps aren't actually that brilliant for clamping onto carbon fibre handlebars. So they have pinch points and those pinch points can actually crack the bar if over torqued or sometimes during a crash or even just because the clamps themselves aren't that brilliant. So it's really important that you follow the instructions when do, using a carbon bar um, and never over torque. Always use a torque wrench when installing. Um, and that way you won't pinch, you won't be damaging your bars, you won't be opening yourself up to some accidents while riding. And let's face it, these go for a lot of uh, abuse when riding, especially on downhill trail um, enduro style riding. Even XC these days is getting pretty hardcore. So yeah, make sure you follow the instructions. Uh, I really like the sweep on these. I don't know if we can see that. And they just look superb. So there isn't really any grippy areas. So I assume that's why they've given us the uh, assembly paste. So that should, if we apply that correctly, that should really let the um, grips, uh, well, brakes, gear levers and the stem itself clamp on really securely. Whereas if we are to have a quick look at these nuke proof bars, which are also carbon fiber, you can see they've got this sandpapery texture here, which lets the components grip there. So now we've done the unboxing and we had a look at these. Let's go fit them and uh, then we can start testing them out on the trails. <laughs> 